working with Larry, um, you know, that was, I mean, it was all kind of a bit awkward because I'd only just met him a few months before. And so, you know, while he was my father, we just met, which, you know, in terms of a child meeting the parent for the first time and then uh, going into something as um, intimate as making a film, um, you know, it's quite a unique experience. Uh, the art direction, you know, the script, the on-screen violence and stuff, everything in that film is quite extreme and I think that was reflected behind the scenes. For the physical side of the role, you know, like a gang beating and stuff, we did quite a bit of training in and around that and I was, again very lucky to work with some uh, uh, really high quality kickboxers who were all part of that gang. My billing in the picture was a lot higher and so I think that that, you know, pressure caused me to kind of put a lot more pressure on myself. It was a bit sad that uh, Nick Hickey got <laughs> killed off so early in the piece. Um, so my time with that project was quite limited. But, you know, it felt good to come back after a couple of years. I'm at the table with Nancy Brunning. And then he looks at me and just says, um, I'm not sure what you're doing, but just keep doing it. And I was like, I didn't really know how to take that. Getting the Department of Corrections across the line on songs from the inside was initially hard because, you know, they've got a particular role in giving people free reign to point cameras around and write songs and create prison idol potentially make pop stars of people is kind of not what they're there to do. Mm -hmm.